receiving students and sixes. Thank you. You may be seated. And now let's quickly recap on what we learned in our previous lesson on estimation. Now, who can still remember what did we actually did in our previous lesson? Vanessa, what did we learn in our previous lesson? To the receiving students, I'd like you to tell your teacher what you learned in your previous lesson. Thank you, Vanessa. Estimation. Okay, estimation. Vanessa, can you tell the class what were you actually doing when you are estimating? We did rough calculation. Rough okay. Cal you round cal uh, we come again, Vanessa. Did rough calculation on numbers. We rough calculation. What should she say? We were doing rough calculation. I will just yeah. give you certain numbers and you are going to estimate these numbers, meaning you are going to do a rough calculation. So I'd like, Michaeline, would you like to give an estimation to this number, 67? 67. What would be the estimated number? 67. Remember, there were three rules that we were to apply when we are estimating numbers. Receiving students, can you estimate 67? 70. Again? 70. Do we all agree 70? Yes. Do we all agree 70, 60, and receiving students? Yes, why? Michaeline, why did you round it up to, or why did you estimate it to 70? Because 7 is greater than 5. Very good, because there was one rule, if the number is more than 5, you add 1 to the first number. So 67, 7 is more than or greater than 5, so we add 1 to 6 to make it 7, and the last number becomes 0. So the estimated figure to 67 would be receiving students, 70. How about 141? Let's have on air. Fred, 141, can you estimate 141? Fred, 141, would you like to estimate that for us? Okay, let's have Minol. Thank you. Receiving students, I'd like you to estimate 141. 100. Okay, 100. Why did you say, or you estimated it to 100? Four is less than one. A uh, five. Very good, because the second number is less than five. 141 can be estimated to 100. So these were some of the activities that we did in our previous lesson. We were just estimating numbers. In today's lesson, we will now go on to our new topic, still on estimating, but we added a word to that, which is sums. When we are estimating sums, receiving students and sixes, Sums is when you are adding numbers or figures. So when you see the word sums, you must automatically think of numbers when you are adding two or three numbers. So addition comes in when we talk about sums. So I will repeat, sums is when you are adding numbers or figures. Okay, the same rules apply when we want to estimate. We firstly look at the first number, which is not zero. We cannot estimate if there is a zero in front of the first number. Secondly, if the number is greater than five, we add one to the first number, and then we, we can make a good estimation there. When you are trying to do estimation, now always re replace all numbers after the first number with 
zero. So these were the three rules that we used in our previous lesson. So you should have already written those rules in your book or you should have, have them in your exercise book. Let's have a look at the learning activities just to see what we mean when we are trying to estimate sums. So six years and receiving students, I'd like you to focus now on the screen. There shouldn't be any writing. It says, estimate these sums. I have 41 plus 32. Before you go on into doing your actual calculation, because we are estimating, you are to estimate each of these numbers first before you go on into adding. So 41 can be estimated to what can be the number that it will be estimated to. Let's have Uval. 41. Forty. Come again. Forty. Very good. Forty-one will be estimated to forty. How about thirty-two? That's a Victoria. Okay, it's a learning activity, meaning everybody should be taking part so that you know what to do. Yeah. Again. Thirty. Very good. 41 is estimated to 40, 32 is now estimated to 30. Because when you look at these two numbers here, they are both less than 5. So you cannot estimate it to the nearest whole number. It remains as 40 and this one remains as 30. Now you can do your calculation, 40 plus 30 would be? 70. I can hear students whispering. Okay, that is the first learning activity on when we are estimating sums. Let's move on to the next one. 468 plus 240. Let's have Robert, can you estimate 568? We are now dealing with hundreds. Robert? Six hundred. Okay, why did you say six hundred? Because six is greater than five. Okay, very good, because the number after the first number is greater than five. So it can be estimated to six hundred. Two hundred and fourteen Lorraine. Very good. 214 can be estimated to 200. Still with you, Lorraine, 600 plus 200 would give us 800. So that is the estimated figure to these two numbers here, or estimated answer to these two numbers here. When we talk about estimated, or estimation, it is just a rough calculation. You're just thinking in your head and then try to imagine what would be the closest number to the number you're trying to deal with. And we have the last one to go. This time we are dealing with thousands. 1,368 needs to be estimated to a nearest whole number. Sam, would you like to estimate that figure for us. Receive, receiving students, we are now on the third learning activity, rounding off these two figures before we do our additions. One thousand. Okay, Sam, why did you say it's one thousand? Three less than five. Okay, very good, because the second number here is less than five. So it is estimated to 
1,000. How about the second number? Let's have Rodney. 8,000. 8,000. 8,000, do we all agree? Yes. yes, because when you look at these three numbers here, nine is more than or greater than five. So we have 8,000. So when you add 1,000 plus 8,000, it gives us 9,000. So these are three learning activities that you will be doing some of these in your activity exercise during the lesson. So it shouldn't be that difficult. All I would like you to do is follow exactly how we have gone through. You do estimation first, and then you add those estimated numbers. So you have four activities to complete during our lesson for today. You are to add, estimate its numbers and then add them. So following the steps that we have gone through, you estimate, sewing your arrow, and then you add. If you're not sure on what to do, please do not hesitate to ask. Receiving students, raise your hand so that your teacher can come and assist you. Do lay out your work neatly. Do not mix the learning activity with the activity exercise. Learning activity is when you are doing exercises with the teacher as examples. Activity exercise is when you are doing the work on your own or the exercise on your own.
you have finished, I'd like you to sit up straight. Raise your hand if you haven't finished. I will give one more minute for those who haven't finished and then we will go through the correction. I will be selecting volunteers or students to come up and so you're working out on the whiteboard as part of the corrections to those activity. Okay, class, we will now go through the correction together. Receiving students, I hope your teacher have written these activities on the blackboard because we will now go through the correction to these activities. So I'd like volunteers now to come up and so you're working out on the whiteboard. Okay, let's have Helen to do the first activity. 43 plus 32. I'd like you to show all the working out on the whiteboard. Write bigger. Okay, thank you, Helen. Let's continue to exercise B. Later, we'll come back and check through to see that C is correct there. Who would like to do the second one for us? Okay, thank you, Fred. Thank you, Fred. Let's move on to exercise C. Exercise C. Uh, Laka? Some will get ready for the last one.
Okay, thank you, Laka. Samuel, quickly. Okay, thank you, Samuel. Let's now go through the answers to these activities. Look through the four activities and try to see if the working out are correct. Put your hands up if you can see some little errors there. Okay, Victoria can see something. Can you come up and make correction to that? Okay, I will get you to do your own corrections, help your other friends. You others, watch carefully where we'll see do the correction. Okay, she has done correction to activity C because the first one when she rounded off 354 estimated was 300 when it's not supposed to be, it's supposed to be 400. So she corrected 400. Instead of 300, it has changed to 400. Also, the answer now changes to 600. So that was the correction that was done by Victoria. Robert, you had your hands up. Where is the, the mistake that you would like to correct? Okay, let's see what Robert would like to make correction to. Receiving students, I hope you are following through. We are now making corrections again. Okay, thank you very much, Robert. 68 is estimated to 70 and not 60. Fred, correction here, 8 is greater than 5. So you add 1 to 6 to make it 7. So the number after 7 becomes 0. 25, 5 is at its mid of to be estimated to the next number, which is 3 or the number after three would be zero. So the estimated number from 25 is 30. So when you add 70 and 30, it becomes 100. So receiving students, this is the correction that has been done from the previous working out. Any more corrections to be done? Okay, let's go through the correction comparing the ones that have been done with your, by your friends and the ones that I have on the screen. So receiving students and sixties. Let's now have a look at how the working out has been done here also. Okay, 43 to 40, 32 to 30, and the answer is 70. Also receiving students and six is, look at where the plus sign is being placed. It is placed before the second number. So six is and receiving students, I hope you are following. The plus sign shouldn't be placed here. It should be placed 
just before the second figure, in line with the numbers that you were trying to estimate. So I will erase this and place plus sign before 200 and also before 30. It's not supposed to be there. Samuel had equal sign here, which is not supposed to be. The line here indicates that this is the answer. So Samuel, do not put extra mark next to your answer. So the first one received students and six C's is now on the board or the screen. B, 68 plus 25. Fred watching very carefully. We have 70 and 25 estimated to 30, like what Robert have already made corrections to. So 70 plus 30 would give us a 100 and not a 70. It's supposed to be 100. Let's move on to exercise C, 354. We have 400 and we have 200. And the answer to that would be 600. And the last one, 1,276. We have 1,000 because 2 is less than 5. The number after the first number is less than 5. So it remains as 1,000. Okay, it's supposed to be 7,000 because 300 is less than 5. So it remains as 7,000. So 7,000 plus 1,000 should give us 8,000. So these are the working out to the activity exercise that we have done. So we have the correction also on the whiteboard. We will now move on to our summary point. Summary point is there on the screen. Sums is when you are adding numbers or figures. Quickly copy this summary point into your book. Our key phrase for today's lesson, estimating sums. To the receiving teacher, our next lesson topic is on estimating differences. With that, six and receiving students, we have come to the end of our lesson. Thank you very much for your participation.